Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin Phoenix 8 Solar and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications uh, from your phone on your watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch, your watch needs to be paired with your phone via the uh, Connect a Garmin Connect application. And once the devices are paired together, we can continue. And now we need to make sure that the required permissions um, are allowed for the Garmin Connect application and your phone to send the notifications to your watch. And to do that, first we need to find the uh, Garmin Connect application icon and press and hold on it. You will see the pop-up and on that pop-up there will be option called App Info. Tap on it. It will bring you to this menu. Now tap on permissions. And here we have the list of permissions we can allow or deny for the Connect application. And if you want to receive the notifications about the calls, uh, messages and stuff like that, you will need to allow the call logs, contacts, phone and SMS. To do it, tap on one of the permissions, tap on allow and repeat uh, for the rest of them. Like this. Once you're done with this, uh, with the permissions right here, we can close the Options, tap on settings to open the settings on our phone. And in settings, we need to find the uh, option and it's called, uh, either it's called uh, notification access or device and app notifications. It's called notification access or the on the older versions of Android usually. And on the newer ones, it's called uh, device and app notifications. And to search you, or rather to look for it, you can tap on search and type in the one of the names for example, device and app notifications, it's here, or you can uh, type in notification access. But it's not here. Or you can uh, simply go to the settings, uh, apps, and usually in apps you have something called special app access. You can tap on it, and usually the options are here on the list. As you can see, I have it right here. You can tap on it. And once you find the uh, correct page, you will see the list of allowed and not allowed apps. And what we need to do is to find the Garmin Connect, tap on it, tap on the switch next to allow notification access to enable it, and then tap on allow. And once you enable it, it will say allowed on, under it, or the app will appear on the allowed list. And once it does, we can close the settings. And now we can open the uh, Garmin Connect. Tap on more, uh, Garmin devices. Select our Phoenix 8 from the list of devices. Then scroll down, find the notifications and alerts. Tap on it. Taps on smart notifications. And here we have status. And if it's turned off, tap on it, tap on on and it will uh, enable the notifications and you will see a couple more options. We have calls, texts, and apps, basically the types of notifications, and we can customize how the watch will behave uh, for this, these types of notifications. For example, if you tap on calls, you can turn the notifications off or turn them on. You can enable or disable the sound and vibration. And you can do the same for the rest of notification uh, types. And below we have privacy. If you open this option, we have off, press, uh, press start and a uh, gesture. Basically, uh, I believe it will um, not display the whole or the content of the notification, basically. If you select pre press start or gesture and you will need to either press start button or perform the wrist gesture to display the content of the notification. And off, of course, means that it's turned off. Timeout is basically how long the notification stays on the screen after you receive it. And signature, I'm not sure what this option does. I can turn it on or off. And once you're done with the settings, go back to the to the main device page, to this one. Sync the devices together. And once they're synced, you should be able to receive the notifications. So I'm going to send myself a message on Discord. And we're going to test that out. Um, sometimes it takes longer for the notifications to start working, but Hopefully this time it would work fine. And it is working. As you can see, we got the notification on our 
uh, phone and also on our watch. And that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.